How's it going? Good. How about you? Great, thanks. You have a seat change, sir. You're now in 1D. I think 1D would be first class. I was going to see ID. I'm just a regular person, so I've never booked a first class flight in my life. But I got a free upgrade to first class for both legs of my flight to Tucson from Medford, Oregon. So I'm going to show you what it's like and how I did it and how you can maybe do it too. There's also a bunch of perks that come with it and the perks are so good that I actually like layovers now. I'm not going to make you wait till the end of the video to tell you how to get the free upgrades. All I did was I got, I got one of these. It's a Delta Sky Miles American Express card. There's a bunch of credit cards that do the same thing. But with this, you get a bunch of perks. So one of the perks is you get on early. And I wasn't even paying attention, so I'm getting on a little later. There's room on the plane. You get free upgrades to either Comfort Plus, which is like a little better than the main cabin, or sometimes even first class, which is what I got this time. We haven't taken off and already got a drink, but we have to chug it because she's going to take it. Got water, tons of leg room, and the seat is way more comfortable than main. One of the tricks to trying to make sure that you get a free upgrade is to book less popular flights. I mean, you're booking fine energy flight, fly in the off season, fly when it's a less popular time to fly, and the odds of getting bumped are, are much higher. The next leg is considerably longer, so I'm thinking there'll be more amenities. Got USB and 120, plenty of room to charge all your stuff. I wonder if there'll be any food because the flight is so short. Thanks, Jackie. We're almost ready to go, so please stop the music. In case you're wondering about the bathroom at the front of the plane, by first class, it's it's the same bathroom, but it was really close to my seat. Have all you want. Even though I'm on a Delta flight, this is actually a regional airline that Delta contracts. So it's a regional plane, it's smaller, and doesn't have all the amenities that a bigger plane would have. Here's how far the seat goes back. Thank you. But we're landing, so it's gotta come back up. Is it up? We'll come back. The reason I really like layovers is because with that Amex car to get the Delta Sky Lounge, which is super awesome, and I thought I had a long layover here. In fact, there's, there's the Sky Club. I don't have a long layover. I just got pinged on my phone and my plane leaves in like a half hour. So I'm, I'm kind of bummed out that I don't have a layover. And luckily my connecting gate is just right, right there, A3. They're probably boarding in like five seconds. And Life is a winding road. Actually, made it to the gate, flight leaves in like, over an hour. I got I got a minute. I'm I'm going back to the, to the Sky Club. I'm, I'm kinda giddy. You are all set. Welcome back, Mr. Jones. Sweet. Appreciate you playing. Thanks very set. much. So that's how fast check-in was. And here's the whole thing. You get food? Hot food. Ooh, protein. Tempting, but no. Free drinks, as much as you want. The restrooms are nice, and most of these places even have showers. Big old window, views, see airplanes. Lots of places to sit, private-ish. The bummer is only like 10 minutes left. One thing you might want to know is that if you just happen to purchase a first-class ticket domestic on Delta, that does not automatically give you access to the Sky Lounge. Most of the people in here are in here because they got the right credit card. Thanks for coming in. Have a good one. We'll see you again. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. They're all super nice in here. And I feel refreshed. And now I get to go find my plane. Which way is it? I don't even know. See that big line? They're waiting for first class because I guess I guess I gotta go in now. It's kinda nice. For change? Here we go. Filming? Maybe. <laughs> Are you going to be doing that the entire flight? We're doing right. So even though this isn't a commuter plane, it's a little bit bigger, 
but it's it's about the same. You got the same amenities, similar seat. In this case, I have less leg room because I'm sitting here in the front. It does have a screen. It's got power to charge your stuff if you want it. It's got a good seatmate. That's Bill. He's a good dude. We started hanging out already. That's what the rest of the plane looks like. They've already asked for wanted to drink and stuff. They, they take care of you. The, the service is amazing. But it's only like 9.30 in the morning, so. Uh, is it too early to drink? This doesn't yeah. look, this doesn't look terrible, right? We do it right? I chose to take a walk during turbulence. I'm probably gonna fall and break my camera on somebody's head, fade it. The reason this plane may look kind of old is because it is. I just talked to one of the flight attendants and she said, this is one of their oldest planes. I mean, look, look at the screen. That screen looks like it's from the 1960s. See that, that down there? Pretty sure that's the Grand Canyon. Here's the reality about first class on domestic flights. It's not like international flights. You might see those that have these enclosed little rooms almost and beds that lie flat. You don't get any of that in first class domestic. You just get basically a big cup will see and more service and and free drinks. Overall, <laughs> take care. Not bad, even though it's the older plane. Bye. <laughs> see ya. There's the Phoenix Sky Club, which I've never been in. But you can only go into the Sky Club on outgoing flights, so I can't go in there unless I know the flight booked. Three days later. Flying part of the way home, I only got upgraded to Comfort Plus, so let me just show you real quick what Comfort Plus is like compared to First Class. How's it going? I'm good. good. How about you? Great, You're thanks. Welcome to board. Thank That's you. That's quite the, quite the setup there. YouTube rig. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a seat change, sir. You're now in 1D. Oh, perfect. Are you good with that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> thanks. Have a great one. Now I'm in 1D. Got a cheap seat change. I think 1D would be First Class again. How's it going? When flight attendants are greeting you when you're getting on the plane, yes, they're being nice, but they're also trying to evaluate every passenger to see who might be helpful in the event of an emergency. Got another cool seatmate. That's uh, that's Ricky. Lumi Pollock, his daughter, just trained with a Black Panther? Black Jaguar. A Black Jaguar for 10 months? She had to live with the thing, basically, and now she's going to be on a movie in 2024? Yeah. yeah. And what's the name of the movie? Uh, Autumn and the Black Jaguar. So in the first regional flight in this video, I was on that side over there, and over on this side, you have just a tiny bit more leg room. So if you have a choice between 1A, which is that right there, or 1C and D, which is this side, choose C and D because look at this, look how much leg room I have. I can barely reach even if I try, but still no TVs because it's just the regional flight. We will be landing shortly. We did it. We survived another first class trip on Delta. It was brutal. Not a huge difference between Comfort Plus and the main, but first class? You got a lot more room and the service is great. She's been awesome. She has a, an amazing tip for us. What's the amazing tip? Um, kindness goes a long way. Be nice to your flight attendants. It's hard work and sometimes they get, do you ever get kind of douchebaggy guys? All the time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You kind of kill them with kindness and then they kind of realize like they were mean and they retract it later. Is this weird? I like traveling so much. It kind of, it's kind of bumming me out to leave, to leave the airport right now. A short trip in first class on a plane is one thing. To see us spend the night on a train, you gotta click right here.